Hello everyone, hoping everyone is having a good one. If you are new here and up enjoying today's content, make sure you hit that like button and red subscribe button before you leave the video or leave the channel. Next thing you know is, you can follow me on all social medias at BladeMist, same way it's spelled on the YouTube channel username. Last but not least, if you're looking for some ranked seasons, battle royale, or even more roster update predictions, all you gotta do is click on the channel, click on videos, and see what else we have in store for you. Now, leave down in the comment section below any player you want me to review and I will review them on future episodes. Just make sure you leave it down in the comment section below. All right, let's start off with Anthony Rendon. I had him in last week's roster update. He hasn't received a roster update or an attribute upgrade in an entire month. Let's look at his numbers. So three year averages hitting 308 versus left slugging 623 versus right handers 304 slugging 529. This year versus left, he's hitting 310 slugging 648 versus right handers 306 slugging 606. Now you also have to take into consideration that the numbers for this year have now began to affect the three year averages big times because now they have over 100 at bats versus either side. Now, I see a power versus right being upgraded and his power versus left being upgraded. He deserves to be at least an 89 overall, and I know he's already a diamond, so he's probably not the best investment in the world, but an 87 to 89 overall jump should at least allow him to go up in stubs to maybe 15K to 20K. You never know. Look at Cody Bellinger's price and Christian Yelix. Next guy on the list is Trevor Story. Now, three-year averages for him versus left, 317, so like a 632. Versus right, 255, slugging 478. This year versus left, he's hitting 326, slugging 511. That slugging number is what's worrying about him. Versus right-handers, he's hitting 278, slugging 552. Now, clearly, he's performing way better against right-handers, so he deserves an upgrade to his right-handed attributes, but Versus left-handers, he suffered big time in terms of slugging. So I do see a power versus left being decreased in terms of attributes. But the defensive upgrade that he deserves as well, since he has been fielding out of his mind and is one of the best defensive shortstops in the game. Top 10, I would say top 7. When I looked at fan graphs, he was like number 6. I definitely believe he deserves a fielding upgrade as well. I see him going up to an 86 overall. So yes, I do see Trevor Story going diamond by the end of this year, if anybody is wondering. Last but not least, we got David Dow. Now David Dow, three year averages, 290 versus left, 510 slugging versus right, 299 slugging 555. This year versus left, he's hitting 330 slugging 560 versus right handers 312 slugging 543. Now I see his, not power, but his attributes versus right and left being upgraded, both of them. Now, contact is going to be slightly for both sides since it's already pretty high. And then the power numbers should be a little bit on average in terms of maybe a plus four, plus five. Contact, I see a plus two, maybe plus three. I see him going up to gold regardless, 80, 81 overall. Now, the only thing that hurts him is he's a horrible fielder. So maybe if he gets those defensive numbers up, becomes a better fielder, he would be gold with no problem and maybe even have potential of hitting diamond. But as of right now, I see gold being his max tier, just in case any of you are wondering. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed the episode. Make sure you hit that like button or subscribe button. Follow me on all social media and check out all the other content that we drop on this channel. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.